I just got done making Greek yogurt in the slow cooker last night. I'm sorry, it's just plain yogurt right now. I'm going to turn it into Greek yogurt. You can see the clear yellowish fluid is the whey that's separated from the yogurt. And you can stir that back in for regular yogurt. But to make Greek yogurt, you can take and strain off that whey. Now, whey is protein also. And the protein that's in yogurt is mostly casein protein. So I'm going to save this wee whey to use for baking Oh, like pancakes. Anything you would use buttermilk for, you can use it in bread. Um, just eat regular yeast bread instead of water. And it will be, um, just add to the protein content. And it also has, um, it's an acid base, so that um, you can use baking soda instead of baking powder. So that's why I like to use it in place of buttermilk. It also has an acid um, base to it. I'm doing this in a bowl with a clear Pyrex underneath so that you can see what's happening. And I have a cheesecloth. Um, I have two layers of cheesecloth in the bowl. I like to use three, but um, I didn't have that much cheesecloth this time. But you can see how the whey is dripping down out of there. And I'm just going to try to get to where I have half the volume of yogurt that I started out with. So I want half whey and half yogurt. And then when I get done with this, the yogurt in the top is going to end up pretty dry. And I'm going to take and put it in the mixer with the whip and add a little bit of sweet milk back to it just to get it to the consistency that I want. If I kept it really, really dry, then I would be able to use it for cream cheese or something like that in my recipes.